guys, welcome back. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I have a project share for you. I'm doing the next six letters in my in the alphabet memory deck swap that I'm in on on the trash trash to treasures Facebook group. And so I wanted to show you those letters. Here's my first one. It's the J, and I did it for jellyfish. So I found some free printable jellyfish paper and I will put the link for that down below. I also found this jellyfish um, image on Pinterest and I will put that image down below as well. I used, I layered the paper on top of some pink cardstock and then I used some washi tape that's from a recollections um, box collection and then I tied it up with some ribbon here. I put some orange rhinestones for bubbles for under the water and then I used a recollections tab and one of my uh, sticker letters that I had in my stash and the base is some white 110 pound paper and then I just put pink cardstock on the back and then I'm going to be writing my name and information on the back there. So there's the J, whoops sorry, there's the J and then K I did for kite. So I found another free digital paper printable set online and the link will be down below, but this was a kite set. It had clouds on this sheet and then there were some kites and a sun that you could cut apart. So I did that. I did some stickling on the sun rays and then on the kite here. I made bows with some paper I had in my stash and I used the Fiskars bow punch and then I just I attached some blue embroidery thread there for the kite string and then add some buttons to the bows and then this is another um, piece of the collection that I printed and then on the back I put this I printed this paper out and put it on the back so that is the letter K and then the letter L I did the ladybug. So I had these ladybugs in my stash and I'm not, I don't remember what that collection was, but they were, they were cut apart. Well, actually they were already, they were die cuts like in it from ephemera pack. Um, this paper I had in my stash and I took some green pattern paper here. I cut some grass. And then I put some red glitter paper down at the bottom here and then I had these leaves from an ephemera pack. This is a sticker that I had a sticker from a, oh this was from the Photoplay Julie Nutting sticker collection. No, it was Photoplay but it was Mad for Plaid sticker collection. And then another recollections tab here and a sticker letter from my stash and then this glitter flower with a rhinestone that was also in my stash and then I used some a red ribbon and a black ribbon here and then on the back I just put a piece of red polka dot paper there oops so there's the letter L and then oh I forgot I have G here I kind of started out of order, but here's the letter G. I did that for giraffe. I printed off some giraffe paper that I found on Pinterest. And then I paper pieced a giraffe out of some patterned paper. And I will put the link for the pattern down below. That was, I found that online. And on his spots, I used some stickling, or on her spots, I should say. She has a little bow here. Um, then I used two heart um, rhinestones up here at the top and then I made a tab here with just by rounding edges and cutting a square or a rectangle and then I used my corner rounder at the top and put a sticker letter from my stash there and then I tied it, tied it up with some ribbon and it's just 
a piece of yellow paper, pattern paper I had in my stash on the back. A letter H I did for Halloween. So I had some paper that was uh, making memories. It was a Halloween embellishments paper pad. That's what this stripe is here. And then the letter, like a book page that was in that same collection. And then all of these stickers were from that collection, Making Memories Halloween collection. This says who's there and then Happy Halloween and Halloween Wind. And then I just added um, a tab from that collection and some ribbon that I had in my stash there. And then here's another paper that just says a bunch of Halloween words on the back. And then my last one is the letter I. And I did that for ice cream. I had this uh, die cut printed die cut in my stash from a long time ago. I don't even remember what company it was or anything. So, but I just thought she was really cute. She's holding her three scoops of ice cream. I added some stickling on her dress here and then on her little hairband. This plaid paper behind her was some paper in my stash, some green cardstock, and then this yellow gingham I had in my stash. I used some pink rickrack there and then I had this tiny little it's kind of like seam binding. I tied a bow and put that there just printed out ice cream and then used a recollections tab at the top with an eye for my sticker letters and then on the back I just put the yellow plaid. So Let's see, here, here they are. I suppose we should go this way. If you want to see the first six letters of the alphabet, I will put the link for that video down below. But here, there they all are. I hope you liked them. Give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. Bye!